Right, the busiest part of the gardening season is nearly upon us. And having a planting plan and knowing what you're gonna plant, where you're gonna plant it, is a key way of making sure this part of the season is as stress-free as possible. Um, so I'm gonna show you how Veg Plotter can help. Hi, I'm Richard from Veg Plotter. So I do things on a two monthly schedule. So every month I tend to plan the next two months. Uh, I find that's a really good way of making sure that um, as plans change, I don't have to change too much in my plan. So I have two monthly boxes of seeds. So this one is April and May. So in there are all the seeds that I generally either sow in the ground or sow in the greenhouse in, uh, in those two months. Uh, and then I know I can just keep that in the greenhouse and I know it's ready. And then when, it, you know, when it's February or March, I use the February and March one. So the first thing I like to do is favouriting all the plants that I, I, I like and especially all the ones I have seeds for. So I have a couple left to do. So uh, all we need to do is in Veg Plotter under the Grow Guide section at the top, uh, just search for the plants. So uh, I need to do squash. So I want to do the summer squash. I have um, honey boat squash here. So I favourited that one. I also want to do uh, courgette or zucchini. Um, so you just hit the star and that favorites it. And then once, you, once you're done, you can hit this, this star button and it filters out all of the favorites, all the plants you like to grow in your garden. So this is the Veg Plotter H. Clue Garden plan. So here we are, you can see we've got some parsnips in the ground. They've been in from last year and I'm, I'm leaving them to go to seed. Uh, we've also planted uh, this month some carrots, some parsnips, and some spring onions in this bed. Um, but uh, we're going to plan out April and May in this session. So uh, let's move across to April. Now, now that we've favorited all those plants in the, in the step earlier, if we hit this little star button, it'll just show us all of the favorite plants that we have. And because this timely icon set, it'll only show us the ones that Veg Plotter thinks we can plant in that particular month. So all we need to do is for April, we just go down the list and we decide what we need to add. Um, so we're gonna add some more carrots. I'm gonna do another row of carrots in this bed. In fact, I'm gonna stagger them over here because uh, spring onions help uh, deter carrot fly. Uh, I'm gonna put some more spring onions in or maybe I might put some leeks in because leeks do the same. Now notice veg plot is flagging that there's a crop rotation conflict. So I obviously put leeks in here the previous year. So uh, maybe I shouldn't put them there, um, but we'll continue putting some carrots in anyway. So that's April planned out. As you can see, this is developing into a nice um, a brassica bed. Uh, I'll be adding in some, in fact, let's do that now. Let's add in um, some netting. Now, like plants, you can set the schedule for any anything on in Veg Plotter. So let's say we want to put this in the ground in April. 2022 and we're probably going to take it out around October when the risk of uh, uh, caterpillars is gone. There we go, that's April. Now we move on to May and we do the same. And as you, if you notice, as we move between April and May, the plants in the, in the right hand side change because that veg plotter is saying that you in May, you can plant some more plants. So our plan is starting to build up. We've got what we're gonna, this is the, the view of our garden in May. Uh, if we go back to March, you can see what we're gonna plant in March. These are the icons set, what you're gonna sow, if you see what I mean. Uh, then if we move to April, we add in all the stuff we're gonna plant in April. 
and then we moved to May and we added more and you, as you can see more and more of the garden is starting to build up and as we and then we can do June if we want to but I tend to just do the next two months so that I don't have to change anything if I, if I can't find seeds or uh, if uh, things don't work out I can easily change it 